Okay guys, this is a quick demo ng router natin. This is the Asus 68U, AC68U, RT68, AC68U. Okay. So, this is a quick demo. From here, mapapansin nyo ay dashboard niya. I have 28 clients na na connect and a hard drive na serves as my media server. So, sa smart TV or sa phone, ma-access mo yung hard drive kung gusto mo manood ng TV or mag-FTP ka ng file papunta doon kung you need a backup. Okay? So, it has a 2.45 GHz uh, wireless. Okay. So, isa sa mga magagandang features nito is uh, meron siyang AI protection. So, as you can see, yung view list mo, makikita mo lahat ng uh, clients na nakakonect. So, there are 28 of them now. Okay, so medyo marami-rami. You can separate as well uh, as for interface. So, ito yung mga naka-wired. Actually, dalawang at uh, tatlong bahay yung connection nito, kaya ganyan. Yung isa, it's like a uh, half kilometer away. So, binabatuhan ko ng uh, using my Ubiquiti Networks CPE. Then, that's the LAN. This is the 2.4. Okay. And lastly, the 5 gigahertz uh, wireless connection. So you can break them down there. Okay. So back to the main menu. From AI protection, isa sa maganda niyang feature dito is yung network protection niya. So as you can see, uh, may mga malicious blocking siya. For example, for this one, may nakita siyang sa isang client ko si Marisa nag-access siya ng destination is this one okay so na-block siya ng ano ko ng router um so hindi na yung threat is a kind of a scam source is as android okay so isa pang maganda is a uh, additional features niya is a uh, two-way IPs so ito may dalawang client ako so one is a uh, PC and the other is a TV. So, yung TV, yung smart TV, papansin nyo, it's an Android TV, pero meron siyang uh, external attacks coming from external source IP. Ang threat niya, yung Adobe Acrobat. And, there's also that, uh, yung isang PC, oh, meron siyang mining uh, cryptocurrency activities na na-detect ng router natin. Okay? So, na-block niya rin yun. Then, I advise yung PC ng anak ko na mag uh, malware bytes and then nakita niya nga, mayroon niya. Tapos, nalinis na niya. Okay? And, uh, infected device prevention. So, if ever siguro na mabigat na yung offense ng isang device, iba-block na niya yung connectivity. So, so far, wala pa naman. Parental controls. So, you can enable yung web or through time web app kung ano application or through time timing naman so kung halimbawa uh, sa web app <coughs> one feature dito is uh, you can uh, kung may adult content block mo siya instant messaging p2p or torrent streaming tapos lagay mo lang kung ano yung kung anong device yung mag ano nun halimbawa itong ano ko uh, phone ko, right? so just click add mapupunta na siya sa ilalim so yun so nakablock yung adult, instant messaging peer-to-peer -peer, or torrent, tapos streaming then click apply so ganun lang yun, nabablock mo na yung mga yun, but not all of them, so uh, maraming pang additional features para magamit mo time scheduling so syempre uh, napakadali just uh, you can disable it kung 24 hours sya kung time or block kung ayaw mo syang pakonektahin then kung naka time sya you can edit it and ganun lang so kung naka dark yun yung wala syang access so hanggang alas 12 lang ng sunday then block na ng Monday para hindi siya mapuyat and then 
goes again by 6 a.m. Parang ganun. Okay? Tapos si apply mo lang. So, QoS, to makikita mo yung bandwidth mo. Kung upload usage, tsaka download usage. So, for now, yan, maabot lang po palang 16 MB and downloads. Okay, makikita mo sino, sino yung mga nagda-download. Uh, QoS, right? Pwede mo siyang lagyan. Halimbawa, itong mga clients na to, mga IoT devices lang naman to, lagyan ko lang siya ng 1 MB at saka upload and download bandwidth. Though, hindi naman sila nagko-consume. Pero kung may gusto ka i-limit, malilimit mo. Kung ano, okay? Web history, <laughs> ito mga pang-audit ko. So, kung makikita mo kung saan sila nagpupunta, kung nagpupunta pa sila sa mga porn sites or what, dito makikita mo sila. Right? Uh, halimbawa, tama yung yung phone ko o yung uh, phone ko. Sabi yung phone ko. Real me. Right? Filter out niya kung alin yung mga pinupuntaan ko or pinupuntaan nung phone ko at the background. So, ma-audit ko na siya. Something like that. Okay? So, dyan ko nahuhuli yung mga pamangking ko. <laughs> Next is the traffic analyzer. So you would know si ni mga top usage for a day, for a week, or month, right? So you can get the summary. So for for this na kasi to daily. So si yung atong PC na to ang pinakamalakas for now. It uses a YouTube 1.82, Facebook, overall. For 24 hours, he consumed 7.66 gig, right? But uh, the daily traffic for 24 hours is 48 gig na for everyone. So if you want to drill down, ano pa yung mga pinupuntahan niya, just click more and you'll see everything there. Lalo na yung mga malalaki pa, gano'ng ka-size niya, sorted by size siya. Okay? Download. Uh, traffic monitor it's more of a real time usage ng wired at saka wireless mo so papalo siya kung para makita mo yung usage so real time lang siya okay so ito yung last uh, firmware upgrade ko may nadagdag na dalawang tab which is the one is the game <clears throat> for now do lumang uh, router to, I think 2014 or what? <laughs> Very old na. Pero nag-update pa rin sila. You can get these additional features ng game. So, boost your mobile gameplay. Yeah. So, pwede ka mag-install ng app para ma-boost yung gameplay mo while connected. And this open NAT. So, this is a port forwarding tool na nilagay nila na pagkapunta ka, mapupunta ka lang dito sa next tab. And then from here, uh, I can enable port forwarding and uh, for just some easy steps. For example, naglalaro siya ng Dota. So, I just need to add, um, get the game, right? Halimbawa, CSGO. So, kung PC lang siya, uncheck mo na iba. And then, anong IP? So, you can type the IP or you can choose the who's, who's, who's the client. So, halimbawa, yung... yung piece desktop na isa. Ganyan. Then click OK. So nadagdag na kagad siya. Then click apply. Yan lang yan. Okay? Ah, uh, dami pa eh. USB app. So uh, yung USB na connect dito, uh, hard drive, it has a download manager as well na doon na ako nagda-download. So may 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 ano lang ako, app sa phone, tapos pagda-download ko na mismo yung router na. So, hindi nangyayari yung download sa phone ko. Sa router ko na mismo. So, if you click on this one, pupunta ka dun sa download manager. So, papansin mo yun yung mga naka-download at uh, ongoing downloads, right? So, yung router and hard disk na nakakonekta na ang nagda-download niya. So, trabaho na nung router yan. <laughs> and also 
Lago tayo dyan. Okay. F11. Balik tayo dito sa main menu. Uh, you can attach a 4G, 3G dongle as well dito sa USB to make it uh, the, uh, as your backup. Kung nawalan ka ng fiber, for example. Alright. Um, network printer as well AI disk AI cloud, di ko nagagamit yan dahil sa multiple NAT setup hindi mo ma-access din naman outside ng PLDT router yung feature so pagka siguro na-bridge ko na using pagka may permanent IP na pwede na or using the DNS hindi ko pa na setup so sa so wireless yeah, ito lang yung setup ng wireless kung anong basic lang 2.4 or the 5 gigahertz setup right sa LAN here there's an additional uh, uh, setup that you can do for example uh, may, yung mga specific PC halimbawa eto si desktop bata lang gumagamit you can assign an IP and then kung anong DNS yung gagamitin niya. So, instead of the Google one or the PLDT one, you can put uh, the DNS uh, uh, family-friendly DNS na nagbablock na automatically ng mga adult content, mga games, mga games in sense na mga adult games or casino, something like that. Ayan. So, ibablock na niya yun. And there are also Uh, VPN blocking na, na capable na kahit na mag VPN sila hindi kagano yung VPN nila so wala pa rin silang lusot right? so you can appoint uh, the clients their IPs and manual IPs then um, kung ano yung gagamitin mong IP to block marami dyan, uh, search lang kayo dns.blocks yung mga adult content so one okay So, yun na yung setup ng one Pwedeng dual one nga. So, other than the fiber, pwede ka pa mag-additional connection. So, kung dalawa provider mo, pwede. Pwedeng pwede. Dalawang provider mo para kung bumagsak yung isa, automatic sisipa yung isa. Right? IPv6. Sorry. MVPN. Uh, wala tayo dyan masyado. Sa firewall, ito. Uh, kung papansin nyo, yung kanina sa AI protection pag kami nakikita ako mga ganito malicious site blocking kinokopya ko yung destination halimbawa clicks.com okay kukopyain ko yan tapos ilalagay ko siya sa firewall ko so then sa URL filter papansin nyo mar marami rami na rin ako nakaharang ito na yung mga naharang na router mismo ito yung bagong, bagong dating tcclicks.com then in-apply mo lang para next time around, hindi na siya lalabas doon hindi ba-block na lang niya kagad it can also be a keyword filtering just type xxx o kaya sex ba-block na niya okay? and next is a uh, network service filter isa pa sa mga ginagamit ko so though may setup ako ng games port forwarding di ba? but uh, yung anak ko kasi is, uh, nag-work din siya, work from home So, para madisiplina, hindi siya maglaro habang work, working hours. So, I've set up yung weekdays from 8 to 5. Tapos, Sundays, ng alas 11 na ng gabi, to block the sports. So, binablock na niya yung mga Dota sa, mga, sa oras na ito. Okay? Uh, ayun lang. Uh, administration, basic na yan system firmware upgrades right and uh, system logs may kita mo naman yung ano status ng device mo and network tools net start wake on lan so yun lang uh, pasensya na uh, medyo magulong video pero i think you got the gist of the the video as well so medyo maganda siya Meron siya sa, sa Lazada, ang mga refurbish, 
worth uh, 3999 lang. Pero yung bago nito, it's worth like uh, I believe 6000 pataas. But the refurbished one okay lang naman second hand. I got this new sa ano sa HMR nakachamba ko, nakabalot pa. Okay, hindi to pa sa akin yung box. So para makita niyo ta, kuwai picture ko lang yung kung ano yung setup ko. So, ayan yung aking router, Asus. So, nandyan din yung uh, hard drive ko na 1 tera para sa mga movies. Then, itong power supply ng CPE na papunta sa taas, sa antena, nagsusupply sa kabilang ano, bahay. I put up, I added uh, in the long fan na nakakalat dinigit ko sa likod para magsimple yung cooler niya kasi mainit-init din yung router okay guys thank you hope you enjoyed and learned something from me thank you bye